Hello, and welcome back to Something Starts Ringing Tarot. My name is Ryan, and today I have an easy trick to understand the court cards. I have come up with this trick throughout practicing my tarot for the last few months, and I just wanted to share with everybody. This may not be an original idea, this may not be a clever idea to you, but I thought it was interesting and it helps me understand the court cards that I know are typically kind of hard to understand. So without further ado, I'm going to get into explaining how I read the court cards and how to make it easy. The deck that I'll be using today is the This Might Hurt Tarot deck by Isabella Rotman. I found this deck specifically kind of illustrated the point I'm trying to make and is pretty much a Rider Waite Smith clone, so it's easy to understand for beginners trying to learn the court cards. So before I begin, I'm going to explain that I see the pips as a progression of a story. So from 1 through 10, they tell a story and they teach you lessons and they kind of make up one complete story in each suit. And then the court cards are kind of the same retelling of that story, but with more experience and more knowledge of those lessons previously learned. So the trick that I'm going to show you is that the court cards sort of match up to the pip cards, and you can use the pip cards that are easier to understand to kind of give you more insight into the court cards. So I'll give you, I'll go through the deck and I'll give you the examples of what I mean. So we're going to start with the suit of swords. So here I'm going to lay out all of the pip cards, one through ten. Where they all fit in my frame. All right, and now I'm going to lay the court cards out in a specific way. So this is kind of how I visualize the court cards. I think of the page as having the energy of the one, the ace, two, and the three of the pip cards. I think of the knight having a similar energy as the four, five, and six of the pip cards, and the queen having a similar energy of the seven and the eight of the pip cards, and the king having similar energy as the nine and the ten. This can shift around a little bit, and it depends on how you read the deck and which deck you're looking at, that how it kind of matches up. But I just want to lead you through a couple examples using this deck. So this might be confusing now, but let me explain my example. So to help you understand the Page of Swords, I look down to the 1, 2, and 3 of Swords and see that, okay, the Ace of Swords is kind of new thoughts, rebellious thoughts, new beginnings. The Two of Swords is making a decision or preparing to make a decision, uh, kind of confused about two options, different things like that. And the Three of Swords is read as heartbreak or major anxiety or um, kind of your thoughts getting in the way of your feelings. So the page I see as kind of this youthful energy, the beginning of the suit, that they're preparing for new thoughts, which is kind of like the two. They're a little rebellious. They might be kind of preparing for naughty thoughts or immature thoughts, something like that. So that's kind of like the ace of rebelling and new thoughts and kind of breaking the system. And then the Three of Swords is kind of like a lesson for the page, in my opinion. So if you're too cautious, or if you're too, um, uh, what's the word, not cautious, <laughs> um, 
too like frivolous in your thoughts or jump to too many conclusions too fast without learning, then you might end up in heartbreak or too much anxiety and you're not sure of where you're going. So I kind of use these three cards to kind of personalize the page. Next, I go to the King of Swords. So I see the King of Swords as having similar energy to the Four, Five, and Six of Swords. So the knight might be learned from a battle, um, is taking a break, um, kind of has already taken a break, but is ready to do more. The Five of Swords is kind of like won a battle, but learned some lessons, maybe won it by tricking somebody or doing something poorly, so now they're feeling remorse. And the Six of Swords is kind of moving on from that battle and learning their lessons and moving on to a better future. So the Knight of Swords, I read as kind of like a go get em energy, has learned these lessons in the pips already and has that experience of practice and rest, um, learning from previous battles that they shouldn't go into it with just selfish thoughts and everything. They need to worry about the consequences. And they also just need to move on from these life lessons. So I see the knight of like charging into battle, knowing he's confident, has learned the lessons of the pips, and just has um, confident energy, confident thoughts that he can move forward knowing what he's learned from these lessons. The queen of swords, I kind of like to think as the combination of the energy of the seven and eight. So as we're progressing through this story, these characters kind of know the lessons of the previous ones and are kind of growing up and learning the life lessons. So we go to the seven and eight of swords, which is kind of like stealing your thoughts. The queen has learned um, kind of how to be sneaky, how to manipulate others, how to... Um, think ahead of other people and kind of get away with things. And they also, the queen also knows that you can be trapped in your thoughts, but she has learned that you can get out yourself and it's just your thoughts that are holding you in. So she's really knowledgeable. Um, she's um, kind of cunning with her thoughts. She knows how to manipulate and get her way. Um, so this is kind of the energy that I feel goes into the Queen of Swords. The Ten of Swords is a little bit more complicated in this example, um, because obviously these are very dark cards. Uh, this is like nightmares and finished final thoughts ending a cycle. Um, I see the Knight of Swords as kind of having learned all of the lessons of the entire suit, and he is just stable in his thoughts. He's gone through these lessons of nightmares and kind of making a final decision or being overwhelmed by your thoughts to a point of just complete and utter finality. Um, so he's gone through all that. He's made it through all of the lessons of the sword, which is a pretty brutal suit in my opinion. Uh, so he is just confident in this card. He's just sitting in his wheelchair, knows that he's good, knows that his thoughts are pure, he's learned the lessons, he's ready to make decisions, he's decisive, and he's just kind of the, I would say, maturest one and has learned all of the lessons of the suit. Okay, so now let's go on to another suit and just give another example of this little trick of pairing the court cards to the energies of their suit story. So next I'm going to do the Pentacles. I did the same thing. Okay, let's move them over. All right, and I'm going to place the court cards in the same positions as I did before. So we'll go through this one a little quicker. So the Page of Pentacles. I see as kind of a combination of energies of the one, two, and three. So this is like new investments, ready to um, put your energy and your um, like body and earth energy into a new project. This is like juggling new ideas, making 
like decisions about where to invest your money, uh, where to invest your time, your energy. And the three is the teamwork and building something together and learning lessons that will build something to fruition. Uh, so I see the Page of Pentacles as kind of the embodiment of these three energies. They're very new to the game of investing or they are figuring out their earth energy, their grounded energy, um, maybe their health. They're starting on a new health journey. Um, so the page has kind of lived these examples. So they're confident in moving forward. They've kind of made a decision of what they're going to invest their money in or their time in or their physical energy in. And they know that whatever they do will need help from other people, but also will kind of be successful. So they're kind of an optimistic energy. The Knight of Pentacles has learned the lessons of the four, five, and six of the suit and also kind of takes the energy of the page as well. So the Knight of Pentacles is very conservative with their money. They're very protective. They've learned the lessons of kind of keeping the money and physical attributes for themselves. Um, they know that even if they feel like an outsider, they are protected and there are ways to heal or improve your physical self. And then the six is the card of like sharing money or deciding how you want to share your money and resources. And the king has learned all these lessons and is just confidently slowly moving forward, knowing that he wants to save some for himself, like the four of pentacles, but also wants to share with others in a positive way. So he's just, and this card, he's just sitting on the hill on his motorcycle ready to invest in a new life, invest in someone else's life. Um, just kind of that solid, I know what I want to do. I've learned the lessons of these cards. The Queen of Pentacles is kind of a combination of the seven and eight. Of course, these can shift around if you feel like it too. So you could say, okay, maybe she has a little bit of the six in her. Maybe she has a little bit of the nine in her. But I like to put it for the seven and eight because that just makes it easy. So the queen has learned the lessons of the seven and eight, kind of like the other cards. And she also has the experience of the rest of the suit. So she's done the work. She's admiring her work, like in the seven of pentacles, but she's even more proud that she has been fruitful in her work. So this person knows that there's work to be done, but they're proud of where they are. She's done the work. She knows it's been fruitful She's kind of like an expert in like health and physical um, attributes. Um, then the Eight of Pentacles is mastering her craft. So that goes back to this where she's kind of done the work. She knows it's going to be successful. And the King of Pentacles is a combination of the energies of the Nine and the Ten. And so in the Nine, it's very successful, proud of their self. Um, trained in a bunch of different activities, energies, and the Ten of Pentacles is leaving a good legacy and um, going forward in life knowing you're confident and well provided for. And that's just what this king is. Specifically here, he's sitting in a comfy chair. He knows he's provided for. He's learned the lessons of all of the Pentacles. He knows where to spend his money, how to spend his money, how to spend his energy, his physical self. He's happy with where he is. All right, let's go through these. This is turning into a longer video than I thought it was going to be, but hang with me and I'll go through the other suits quicker. All right, now we're with the Eight of Cups. Or now we're with the Cup suit, sorry. <laughs> All right, put the port cards in the same positions. And I'll go through this really quick. So the Page of Cups, again, I see as having the energy of the one, two, and three. So it's a new emotional energy, ready to have some fun, ready to connect with other people, ready to make spontaneous choices based on their heart and not their mind. The three, the Knight of Cups is a combination of the energy of the four, five, and six. So they have learned the lessons of their life and they're just kind of doing their job they are stable in their emotions, but going forward, 
um, kind of the I know I can love good <laughs> person. Um, so they've taken their break. They've accepted the extra cup of the Four of Cups. They've learned the lessons of the Five of Cups of kind of not crying over spilled milk and looking for the opportunity of the other two cups standing up. And the Six of Cups, they kind of look back on their life and see the lessons that they have learned through their life, through love and friendship and kind of like your inner child. Um, so this knight knows how to manage his emotions, manage their um, expression of love and their intuit intuition. The Queen of Cups, I like to think is a combination or learning the lessons of the seven and eight. So they have gone through the confusion, they have made a choice, they're confident in their energy, and they've moved on from old love or old um, heartbreak or emotions that don't serve them anymore. So the queen is just confident in herself. She's open and loving, uh, has decided what's good for her, but also what she wants to spread to others with her love and intuition. Um, she knows kind of the way to navigate emotions. The king of cups is a combination of the nine and ten again. Um, he's very proud of the work he's done in his emotional journey, and he's found happiness and love and kind of spirituality even in a long-lived life. So on this card, he's in a rowboat, just smiling, happy, even though the seas and the world around him are kind of choppy and full of extra creatures that may impact his journey. So he's just a confident experienced person that has learned all the lessons of the cups. And lastly, we will get to the suit of wands. Again, place the court cards in the same positions and read the energies of the pips to give the energies of the court cards. So again, the page represents the combination or energies of the ace two and three. So they are um, excited to create more. They have new sparks of idea. They are planning to do to take action, to do something, to show off. And the Three of Wands is the kind of go get them, stepping out of your comfort zone, making um, action, taking action, and making new progress in your creative endeavors. Uh, so the page just kind of embodies all of that energy of this new idea, new concepts, new action towards a passion. The Knight of Wands embodies the energy of the four, five, and six and has learned these lessons. So the Knight of Wands has celebrated, um, is confident in their like family environment, um, their community, they know they're supported. The Five of Wands, they've kind of gone through the conflict of people doubting them or uh, kind of conflicting with their actions. And then they've been victorious already in their life. So they've gone through the lessons, they've shown that they can do it. So now that they're, now that they have all that passion and creative energy of the page lived and learned, um, and then all of this energy, they can just rush into battle. They can um, take on whatever creative endeavors they want. They are confident. They know that they're supported by family and previous successes, and they're just rushing in to do new projects <clears throat> or to show more like fire energy passion. The queen again is a combination of the seven and eight and has learned the lessons of the rest of the suit. <clears throat> Excuse me. Um, so they are confident in themselves. They've defended themselves from outside pressure, outside um, actions or conflict. And then they're a very good communicator. They are driven in one direction, they know what they want, they 
are kind of going with the flow, going with the energy of the suit. So the queen has learned these lessons. I like to think of the queen as like the teacher. Uh, she's proud of her um, passion for showing others and teaching others how to be creative and passionate. <clears throat> she's proud of who she is and doesn't let anybody get in her way. And she knows how to communicate that with others to show their passion, to teach them, to um, expand their creative thoughts and energies. And then the King of Wands is the final combination of the nine and the 10. So the King has gone through the struggle of creative energy and kind of writer's block and um, being stuck in their head and kind of protecting themselves from getting that final, like pushing through for that final um, hard work and passion in their projects and has learned to not let the burden weigh them down and kind of carry it efficiently and just kind of has finalized their passions, knows where they are and knows and is confident in themselves like the rest of the suit has taught them. So in this card, they're sitting around the fire. They are kind of teaching the lessons of the suit. They are passionate. They are letting their fire kind of spread to others around them and are just confident in that energy. So overall, um, the trick is to use the pips that are easier to understand to kind of match up to the energies and give the court cards the lessons learned of the suit. So I hope this helps. Um, it's a, an idea I probably have picked up from a combination of other videos. So if you know of anyone that else has this exact same idea or similar idea, let me know. Um, but I just wanted to share this with new beginners or other people that struggle with reading the court cards. So with that, this is life. This is what I'm talking about. You manage to be happy for five seconds and then something starts ringing.